I'm gonna do a quick video on how to operate a single port digital timer. I purchased this one at Walmart and you can get it for $24. That's a tax about $27. And it don't come with AA batteries. You need to pick up two AA batteries when you purchase this timer. It's pretty simple to operate. As you see, the auto is for programs that are already set. So I already got my times and stuff set, but we're gonna go through the process of how to set everything up. The set uh, clock. You set it to the set clock, you see it start blinking. Do the plus or minus, bring your time up. Once you turn it, it's gonna set that time. Next, you start, put it on start time. This is the time you want it to start, you want the water to come on. So you see mine is at 5.30, you can change it to 5.30, 5, 6 o'clock, whatever time you want. And how long you want it to stay on once it comes on, I got mine for 30 minutes. You can change it to 20 minutes if you would like. I'm bringing mine back up to 30 minutes. And how often you want it. I got mine set at every 12 hours. So you can set this if you want to hit the plus sign. It'll say once a day. That's one day, as you can see. Or you can hit it two, three. You can go all the way up to seven. So that's going to come on one time a week. If I hit it again, it's got six hours. So this is going to come on every six hours. So that's four times a day. And I'm going to set mine back at 12. So it's going to come on every 12 hours. And once you do that, you turn it. Now everything is set. So it's off. So to get the program to work, you want to make sure it's back on auto. And say, for instance, you want to just manually water your grass or use it to wash your car or something. Just hit this manual button. Once you hit the manual button, you're going to see it starts off at 10 minutes. You could change that up to how many minutes you want. Like I got mine 25 minutes. You hear it click. That, that'll let you know it's going to manually come on. You hear the click, you probably hear some water. And once you get once it on, you cannot increase or decrease the time. But to turn it off, just turn it to off. You're going to hear it click. It's got to that lets you know it turned the water off. So if you don't want to water your grass, you're done for the season, make sure you turn this thing off and put it up. I've had mine for about a year and a half now. So every season, take it off, don't leave it outside and make sure you take the batteries off because it get corroded. So I'm gonna turn mine back to auto and at 5.30, this thing is gonna come back on and water my grass. It's gonna stay on for 30 minutes, then it's gonna go off and come back on 12 hours later. I hope this helped. Have a great day.